There's a whole range of great mobile SSD products out there, and in this video, we're taking a look at one that stands out, the Armor Lock. Armor Lock is a two terabyte encrypted NVMe drive. It's capable of a thousand megabytes a second read write speed, and it will survive a drop of three meters onto most surfaces. In fact, we chucked it off our mezzanine, which is a little over three meters, and found it survived bar a few scratches. Full disclosure though, we did do this a couple of times and eventually the case did pop open a little bit, but it easily clipped back together and with no noticeable effects on the performance of the drive. It's also IP67 rated for water and dust proof and can survive a thousand pound crush force. Now we didn't test the full crush force, but its baby brother, the G Drive mobile SSD, did come out unscathed after we ran it over in a car. So there is that. And we did drop a heavier than sensible flight case on it because we could. What makes the Armor Lock really impressive is its security. The drive is built with high-grade 256-bit AES XTS hardware encryption and NIST P256 elliptic curve-based key management. That's just another way of saying that this thing is all but impossible to unlock unless you have the key. And that's where things get even more interesting. What the designers have done here is to rely on the biometric security features of your phone to keep the drive locked up. You need to be an authorized user to unlock it and gain access to the data you've stored. But how does that work in practice? When you get a new armor lock, like this one, you'll find the device itself, a couple of cables and some instructions, and that's pretty much it. When you set up a new device, you get a manager's profile. This allows you to add more users to the armor lock, along with some settings for customization and options. You'll also be given a recovery key. Keep this safe, either print it or screenshot it and store it digitally, because you'll need this if you ever accidentally remove the app from your phone or lose access to the armor lock. It's literally the only way to recover lost access. After you've set everything up and stored your recovery key, you can then use your phone to add or remove user access. Either choose from your phone contacts or email people directly for them to be given access rights. You'll find that only the people you've chosen who have downloaded the Armalock app can actually unlock the device and get to the data, which is great for security. Because it's a rugged drive, you can safely put it in the post and no one along the way can gain access. Or if it does end up in the wrong hands, your data is still secure. In terms of the feel of the device, it's got a good weight to it and it feels robust. It's not too heavy though, so it won't weigh down your kit bag. The SSD protection strips are a little bit more flexible than that of the G Drive mobile SSD, but I suppose that's to be expected on a larger device with more distance to cover from edge to edge. I like that the SSD inside is yellow so it stands out against the grey of the enclosure, but not too much that it gets annoying. The enclosure itself is nice, it's possibly a little slippery, so if it does get wet then you want to have a good grip on it, but it's nice that it's not too rough and it's easy to pick up and move around with, and the form factor is slim, and it doesn't take up much more space than an average size smartphone. You could comfortably shove this into your back pocket and walk around with it all day. When in use, the drive runs a little warm, but not too hot by any means. It can lock itself if your computer goes to sleep, so if you're in the middle of a render, just be mindful of that. Overall, the Armor Lock is an incredibly powerful tool. I can see it being used in production environments to share footage, defense, finance, and law, for secure data transfer and even in independent productions where you want to have a fast access to a drive over USB-C. And that's another thing, because this is a USB-C device, the transfer speeds are really amazing. We ran a benchmark test and got some really good results, and it's definitely fine to edit 4K RAW footage right off the drive. In fact, we've shot this video in 8K 16-bit RAW and edited what you're watching off an armor lock. To conclude, the Armor Lock is not too expensive as a two terabyte drive that's at home, out in the field, or in the post. It will survive almost anything you throw at it and still let you work off the drive. You can securely share access via the app and erase all data if you need to. The only thing I'd like to see in future versions is an integrated SD card slot or USB port so you can offload directly without needing a laptop. That and maybe a four terabyte version for larger productions. If you want to find out more about the Armor Lock, check the links in the description below and we'll see you in the next video.